Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's a massive one. Step on it. No, it just wants to live. Let's take it outside. It'll live through the <laughs> no, we need, we, It needs a... No, yeah. Oh, gosh. This is the day we get all our planning done for the remainder of the week and the first part of next week. We call that sprint planning. And the way it works for us is we have a big long list of things that need to get built for an application or just tasks that need to get done for that product. And so what we do is the whole team meets together. We go through what was accomplished in the previous week's sprint. And based on that, we are able to determine what's called velocity. We assign every single task a point. So it's based on the Fibonacci sequence, one, three, five, uh, eight, and then on up. So it's a little early for me to be doing math, I'm sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a massive one. No, it just wants to live. Let's take it outside. It'll live through the <laughs> no, we need, we, It needs a... No, yeah. Oh, gosh. Where'd it go? Oh, no. Great. Now it's going to go in Mitch's bag. <laughs> oh, man. That is big. I was trying to do it. Oh, no. It's going my way. <laughs> kill it. Kill it. Where'd it go? It's in your bag. It's in your bag, Mitch. It's actually the freaky out. No, it's in your bag. Go ahead and open it. Heck it no. crawled in there. I watched it. No. This yeah. thing is massive. Honestly, I don't think I've ever legitimately seen a live cockroach. What? Mitch. Except for at the zoo. You've, You've seen never seen a live ones. cockroach? <laughs> oh, it's yeah. going to fall on us. <laughs> some stuff they came wrapped in all this giant bubble wrap George was giving me trouble about not popping it I was just like poking holes in it if he wants to pop it that's what he's gonna get I'm gonna jump on it you want to jump on it you want to jump on it all right are we wanting to do this behind someone <laughs> that's a great idea yeah right there's good all right hurry the battery's dying okay ready yeah please don't hurt yourself give a good pivot pivot foot <laughs> that was loud. That worked really good. <laughs> <laughs> Still got it a little bit. That was awesome. Do it again for the people here, Kramer. So I was reminded after just walking out of a meeting that I may need to reiterate again what Crema Lab actually is. Crema is not a dev shop in the sense that we are not a, a code shop. We are not just dev only. Though, I have more developers on staff than almost any of my other uh, team members. And I believe that we make amazing cutting edge technology. Crema is not necessarily a design agency. We do have designers on staff that are brilliant at making user interfaces and user experiences and brands that move people and that, that think about the psychology of why certain things work and why certain things don't. Crema is not necessarily um, just a business consultant. We have product strategists on every project that we have to make sure that we're moving in the right direction, that we're achieving product market fit. We're building our own products. We are partnering with some of our clients to, to make sure that we have strategic relationships for the th with them for long term. But most of our bread and butter comes from serving clients. We are definitely focused on modern cutting edge technologies. We're not necessarily um, trying to create experiences that are you know, making the next intranet um, or redeveloping an ERP system in .NET or something like that. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, of course not. I mean, it's fine if that's who you are. Absolutely. And I want that to be clear. There is a place for that. That's just not who Crema is. Crema is unique in the sense that we believe that we can bring value at the early stage of an idea. There's a huge investment and a huge risk in hiring a team one by one, all the different roles that it would come to take a startup team or a, a little product launch team, hiring them either into your company as your brand or 
into your entrepreneur venture. And instead what we say is, hey, let us come alongside you, get it up and running, start to get the core value proposition out, start to prove that that is the core value proposition. Literally build the app, whether it's iOS, Android, web, wearables, all of that, and then start to do customer development where we're listening to feedback and making the app better. And then at a certain point, we're preparing you to hire your engineers now that you're finding product market fit and that you have maybe revenue coming in or your first round of funding coming in. So the sweet spot for us, what we're learning is an, a seed funded entrepreneur, somebody who has enough money to invest in a team like mine to take them to where they need to be over the next three, six, 12 months, 18 months. The other type of client is a, is a brand. So someone that has a large enterprise machine, uh, maybe a set of organizational structure that doesn't give them the freedom to try to innovate in and of themselves or to try new things in house. Where we come in is that we like to be that innovative arm, that innovative lab right next to, um, to a brand. So to be clear, Criminalab does development. We do design, we do branding, we do product strategy, we do marketing, we do all those things. But we do it like a startup, we do it like a, a close collaborative team. All in this room, we like to have that collaboration close, like a startup team would have. Like you would have if you literally hired up your own people and they were sitting in the same space where the designer is sitting with the developer and you're literally making those big core problem solving solutions right next to each other. So that's what Kermit is. <laughs>